So last but not least, we have sublimation. And sublimation is a really special case of matter where we get the particles in a solid that heat up so quickly that they turn instantly to a gas. You can notice here that it's not dripping. It's not wet at all. It's just making gas, right? Um, so our happy little clump of dry ice here, I have it next to this black computer screen so you can see the contrast a little bit better. Um, instantly turning to gas because the particles are heating up so quickly um, that they're bouncing right into the air. So everybody's favorite thing, I was like, oh man, all right, put it in the water. So here I have our water bucket, O science. And we can see that if I do that, that we get a huge amount of gas that's created. Now when you look down here, um, it appears that it's boiling, but it's actually not boiling. This is um, the carbon dioxide that's trapped in the solid state here. Um, just incredibly rapidly, the heat from the water is going into that carbon dioxide and causing it to sublimate rapidly to make this huge amount of smoke. The water is not boiling because the carbon dioxide is negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It's incredibly cold. So the water is actually getting colder and um, the CO2 is sublimating into its gas state. And if I take it out of the water, then it does not sublimate as rapidly. Um, common misconception is that if we touch it, it will burn. It actually doesn't burn, it just causes a huge amount of pain because to burn, we have to have a heat source, which this guy doesn't have any of because he's super duper cold. Um, so sublimation here, dry ice is a great example of a very obscure phase change.